Aligned Pretzel Show, where spiritual entrepreneurs find orgasmic energy, happiness, success, and abundance. Now, here's your host, the OG Aligned Pretzel, Nisha Ryan. Welcome back to the Aligned Pretzel Show. I'm Nisha Ryan of thealignedpretzel.co, aka The Aligned Pretzel. And today we have almost like a throwback or a flashback. <laughs> anyway, it's uh, like 6 a.m. in Newfoundland. So, you know, um, like 3 a.m., not even <laughs> um, in, you know, the Mountain Center time. I always keep my laptop still on Mountain Center time from when I lived in BC to um, give myself like a good grounding because A reference, B, <laughs> we live in a half hour time zone. So, it gets confusing sometimes. Oh my gosh, there's a little bunny out in my yard right now and he's so cute. Oh, there's tears. I'm like sitting at um, my side porch and it's just like one of these small mosaic type windows and so only part of it is clear and I'm like, there's a little bunny hopping around. I wonder what Gabby would do with the bunny. <laughs> if I let her go play right now. Oh, he's so cute. Okay, sorry, but it is just like, oh, I love my life. Okay, I actually came on here because I had a... Um, so it's Monday morning. I know I'm up at 6 o'clock on Monday morning. What is wrong with me? Not even up. Like, breakfast is on the go. If you hear tick ticking in the background, that's my oven. Um... <laughs> Breakfast is on the go. We're making sweet potatoes, kale, and eggs, like a brekkie bowl kind of thing. It's going to have a good vibe. Um, but on Friday, I had this epiphany, and I hadn't talked about it yet. Not to the extent that, that I really wanted to. And so, excuse me, we're going to do this. Um, what I realized on Friday was that in 2017, after my car accident, I... Um, was sitting at a coffee shop with my friend and, you know, discussing that I was likely going to lose my nursing job. And I did. I was fired um, after the car accident and all the things. She's like, so what are you going to do? I'm like, I just want to teach yoga and drink cold brew. That's all I want to do. <laughs> uh, which obviously, you know, to to my, you know, she was, I think, 40 at that time. You know, and she's like, she kind of mama bared me a little bit. Um, you know, I was still, I'm still in my 20s. Um, late, late, late 20s, but I was still there. <laughs> uh, and she does not inspire confidence. <laughs> Obviously, as you can imagine. And a whole slew of things happened. I mean, I lost my job. I picked up a job at a coffee factory, like, six hours away just because I had to I had to reset I had to reset and I had to not be a nurse and I had to do a job that I felt took no mental capacity and um working in this coffee warehouse took no mental capacity um but it it, <laughs> it killed me it killed my soul because there was no fulfillment in it I, I thought I could just you know little myself down and be the small person but no Anyway, I didn't end up at that job very long because my business took off. Because, yay! Um, <laughs> but what I wanted to say was, I had this holy shit moment of like, oh my god, that's my life. Wait a minute, I said that in 2017. I said it so many times to myself. I don't even know where this, this thought came from. But it came into my head and it came into my head over and over and over and over again. I just want to drink coffee and, or cold brew and do yoga. The cold brew and yoga. I was looking for a shirt that said cold brew and yoga or something like that. Like I was searching on Etsy and everywhere because obviously I couldn't have just made up this this in my head. Like how did it, like it just I don't know. It, it, at the time it didn't sound like me. But it was in my head over and over and over again and it wouldn't go away. So I had to have picked it up somewhere, right? Wrong. There was no shirt that said I just want to drink cold brew and do yoga <laughs> i looked and search and search and search if you want to send me a personalized shirt however i will take that um but and this wasn't something that i heard 
This was something that was, I didn't know it at the time, but this was a divine upload of, like, your life can be like this. You can get paid for teaching yoga and drinking coffee. That You can do that. How bad do you want it? But I attribute my life now being like this because I said it so many times in my head. You know, those the things we say in our head and we don't even realize that we're doing it, right? Those autopilot thinkings to ourselves. The same as if we think, oh my God, I'm so fat over and over again. We just breed more of it. But I just thought, I just want to, I just want to, I just want to. That's what I thought this entire time, but... I, I, I kind of let that dream slip away by being sucked into what what's happening in life and trying to survive because I lost my job and it was like, well, how am I going to make money and trying the whole online thing and and letting that unfold in its own beautiful and mysterious ways as well. My cat is looking at me like very angrily, like, why are you talking into a microphone and not to me? Um <laughs> But anyway, I just had this total epiphany moment on Friday and I had to share it with you like that you said that and now that's your life. Like that is our ability to create as women. Yesterday was Mother's Day. And 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 that is how powerful we are, but we forget how powerful like our words really are. Right? Our not even our, our words, our thoughts, the things we say to ourselves, right? Not Yes, the things that come out of our mouths are so powerful. But I mean, those are usually filtered through something, right? We have this like little center in our brain. Is this okay or not okay to say out loud in person, right? We don't even think about it. We're just doing it. We're filtering out the messages. But the things that we say to ourselves inside of our head, inside of our brains, inside of our minds, right? The trip that we bring ourselves on. You can have a trip of like, I didn't even know then about bringing things into the present tenses if they've already happened. So let's say I knew that and I said, I just drink cold brew and do yoga. Like that's what I do. (laughs) Right? Like maybe it would have happened so much faster versus like, thinking, okay, I got to get more money because I need to pay these bills and X, Y, Z, or I got to do something about my business because I don't feel aligned, or I got to do something about this relationship because it doesn't feel like it used to, right? It's, it's a totally different energy and total state of mind when we can just change the thoughts, but I'm not going to lie to you, it takes a lot of self-awareness. They'll be able to do that, and it's a practice, just like yoga is a practice. And how my life really became like this, truly, honestly, wasn't being obsessed with money. I was in the beginning, and I had to let that shit go. (laughs) It was being obsessed with being the best human I could be. Being obsessed with constantly moving, constantly up-leveling, constantly bettering myself for humanity it was about not wanting to hand down my wounds of you know like family lineage lineages lines um genetics that kind of thing right i was obsessed with just being the best version of me that i possibly could so obsessed in fact that i believe that i you know, surpassed the relationship that I was in at the time because I entered in that relationship with in such a state of panic and my life was in disarray and I had just gotten rear-ended and losing my job and all the things, right? And so I had just up-leveled past that. And I'm not saying that you up-level and your relationship's going to fall away. That's not necessarily true. It happens. Oh, ding. See, uh, sweet potatoes already. <laughs> So I guess I'll wrap this up, but but that that is the core of it. I became obsessed with being the best person that I could be. But more than that, more than the up leveling, the learning, all that was the embodying. My my yoga membership, which I just launched earlier this month, 
wouldn't be doing so amazing if I wasn't embodying the yoga teacher within. So if I'm preaching a membership, join us here, blah, blah, blah. Um, you wouldn't see people really signing up if I wasn't really embodying the person who is a leader in that. Who, you know, if I didn't go on my mat every day, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be an easy sell. But I have the expertise, not only that, but I actually live this life where I drink coffee and do yoga. And that's what I do. I do other things, of course. You know, I talk about sex and sexuality and sensuality and orgasmic energy and blah, blah, blah. But I just look at those as an extension of yoga because yoga was the whole grounding point for me. Um, that was the explosion. That was it. That was the thing. That was the catalyst. So, it's about embodying, right, the, the you that has it and, and really living the life. Like, if, you, if you're teaching about feminine energy and goddess and um, loving your body and blah, 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 you better be embodying that on a day-to-day basis, Right? If you're selling, if that's the program you're selling or the one-on-one you're selling, how are you showing up as that person? Right? Because we can sit up here and preach all fucking day long on how to be the goddess, blah, 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 blah. But if you're not living it in your day-to-day life, doesn't mean you won't make sales. You will. You can. It does mean that you will be out of integrity and that when people buy, they'll feel it and they'll know something's off and just won't quite be feeling into the program. Would you have more sales if you embodied that person? Yes. It's all about a vibe. It's all about a vibe. So when you think about the program that you're launching right now and where you're trying to be or maybe you're just trying to, to make it work even... What is the vibe? What is the essence? What are you embodying on a day-to-day basis? And if it's a person of like, crap, I got to do something because I don't have $50 to my name. Think about that. Is that in alignment with how you're showing up on social media? Have a think on that. And I'll see you real soon with a very important announcement. So make sure you stay tuned for the next episode. Love you. Bye. Thanks for tuning in to today's episode, you guys. Check out any links, resources, etc. that we mentioned in the show notes. And for more, you should check out www.thealignedpretzel.co.co or add me as a friend on Facebook, Nisha Ryan. (laughs) And if you could leave us a little review on iTunes, that would be so helpful and we would appreciate it so, so much. Sending you all the love. Until next time, bye line pretzels.